hello there guys so today I'm going to be showing you how to insert an image into a shape for your CV or for anything else that you may need it for so I'm gonna start with a new document which I have here I'll delete that now so in order to insert your photo first of all you can go to two places you can go to picture picture from file or you can go to insert photo picture from file or from browser or whatever it is that you're getting your image from i personally find going to picture uh, picture from file is easier so let me go and grab my image so there's my image and here it is so in order to put this image into a shape okay before i do anything i will double click the image i'll go to text sorry i'll go to wrap text in front of text you can also do the same thing here uh, where you right click wrap text um, or you can go to format picture layout in front of text that's where you should actually go okay so now I can move my image around the screen I'll make this slightly smaller okay and now where we go make sure the image is still double clicked you'll know this if you've got the anchor points around the image you then go to the crop section and instead of clicking on crop, unless you want to crop the image straight away, you go to the drop down menu, you go to mask to shape, and over here you can see that you have many different shapes available for you. I want to use a circle or an oval. I click on the oval or the circle and here we are, we do have an oval. Now, I don't actually want my image to be in an oval, I want it to be in a circle. So I double click again, I go to crop. This time I actually press crop. So once I, once I press crop, I can see that I have the crop marks around the actual oval itself and also around the image itself. So in order for me to make my oval into a circle, I will have to make sure that I am using the crop marks around the oval. So I will grab the, one of the anchor points and I will make this into a circle or into the shape um, and size that I want it. Now you can also move the image up and down. You just have to click on the image. Again, you'll see the anchor points around the image, which means that you can make it scale it, you can make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. And you can move it up, you can move it down, and there we go. Double click out of it, I see that there's a little bit of a gap. I'll double click into it. I'll go to crop and I'll make this slightly bigger. And there we have it. Now my image is in a circle shape, just how I want it. Now, also just a quick kind of tip for you. If you have an image on a background and you would like to, let's, let's make a quick background for you guys. So, We'll make a quick um, rectangle, double click, wrap text in front of text. And I will fill this in with the red um, shadow, no shadow. Okay, so I'll move this picture in front. So I will do right click, arrange, bring to front. So if I want to have my image with a border, okay, onto a background, I'll double click the image and I'll go to the border sign. You can make, I, I would like this in white. So you can see that there's a slight border already around the image, but I would like a thicker, a thicker weight. So once again, I'll double click, but this time I'll go on the, uh, the um, drop down menu and I'll go to weights. That will give you the different types of weights you can use for the outline or for the border of the shape. I will go for six. And there you have it. You now have a shape with a border and an image inside it. Um, and feel free to use this as you like. There are also other shapes you can use. For example, if I go here and I go to a rectangle, you can change it into a rectangle. Again, double click, go to the drop down menu. Uh, let's just, for the sake of it, go into a semicircle. 
you know, you can experiment with different types of shapes. Um, it's all down to you what you would like. I hope this tutorial has helped. Thank you for watching.